Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honey Bee's YouTube channel. I'm Skinny Bee Man. I put a video out earlier today. Went through these boxes and there was a queen in there. Had her wings chewed up. I've got a couple, three in the yard that's that way. Uh, we're going back in this box and we're going to do a disease check real good. And see what we can find out. See if... Uh, we can find anything wrong. We're going to do a mic count. As hard as I've been splitting these, I wouldn't even, without even treating, they shouldn't be any mites, but you never know. I went back and reviewed the video again, and I did see a couple, three queen cups in here. So this is a package queen. This particular one here is. Come out of a package. They may just be not liking her and going to supersede her. That may be the only thing that's wrong, but we'll... We'll get in here and we'll do a little bit of diagnostics and see if we can find anything wrong. I'll try to get the camera close enough to where you can see what we're looking for. It's hard to do out here in the sun. I'm not a very good cameraman. Not enough bees on that frame to even look at. It. Get us a frame of good bees to look at here in a second. I'm gonna find something with some open brood in it. They've made another queen cup. There's a good chance they're just not liking this queen. See no signs of hive beetles or wax moss. I want to make sure my queen's not in this room before they go do anything major. The queen is on this room. Try to get a real close up. They've actually chewed her wings all the way off. Let me see here. They're actually chewed all the way off. But we're also looking on this frame for K wings. That's where a bunch of uh, the wings are spread out like a jet airplane. That's a sign of tracheal mites, and we're not not seeing any K wing. Uh, another another uh, K wing is uh, Nozema. Let's get our queen, and eh, we'll shake off the next frame. She's still laying, but with the queen cups they're put, keep putting in there, I would just say that they don't like her for some whatever reason. They're wanting to get to getting ready to supersede her. No, this frame, the next frame probably don't have any brood on it.
moved her queen off of there, put her back in the box. We're looking for paramedic parasitic mite paralysis. I'm trying to get out and get this. The camera's actually making it shady. I'm gonna hold up maybe zoom in. Probably not showing, but we're looking for a larva that's corkscrewed up in the frames. That's a sign of parasitic mite paralysis. Another symptom of it, later symptom, is uh, black butt, black slick butts with no hair. We're not seeing a lot of K-Wing. The larvas all look real good. I'm thinking they're just wanting to supersede this queen. For whatever reason. Got us a funnel set up here. I'm gonna shake his frame off. Get us a half a half a cup of bees, which is about half a cup is about 300 bees. Gonna shake these off in, in this bucket. Putting the hive back together. And that's a good half cup. This is just a quart mason fruit jar. I've got a lid cut, eighth inch hardware claw. Okay, we got them back in the hive. This is a mite count, sugar, 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 sugar roll. Give them about two tablespoons of powdered sugar, confection sugar. I need to look to see if the camera was even on. It wasn't. We can see I put about two tablespoons of powdered sugar on it. Get that run down in there. Then you just commence to rolling your bees around. Shake them up good. Get them all coated. Some people 
like to uh, go ahead and immediately wash them out. I do not. I'm going to let them set them up here in the shade and perk for a little while, about five minutes. Yeah, earlier I misspoke. K wing is a sign of tracheomites or nosema. Well, I run small cell bees, so tracheomites is out of the question because the trachea is too small for the trachea mites to get in there. We just got on top of my inhale. Uh, the paramedic, parasitic mite syndrome. Uh, wings chewed up on the bees, which we didn't see nothing but the queen's wings chewed up. And slick uh, abdomens on the bees. You just take this and shake all the powdered sugar out of here now. I think we'll let them clean themselves a little bit right there. Shake them down again. I can say this is a half a cup is roughly 300 bees. We got a little more than that in there, but I want to get a good count. dump these bees out back then on the hive, let them go in. Now you could do the same thing with alcohol. It gives a little bit more precise count, but it, it kills the bees, and I'm just not into killing all the bees. Just pour you a little water in here now and rinse your, rinse your mason jar out. Pour it into your bowl. The mites will all float to the top. Okay, uh, I'll get a little further away. No. Nah. 
there was two mites. This is dirt over here. Here's a mite, and here's a mite. So we had two mites to over 300 bees, so that's less than a 1% mite count. Mites shouldn't be a factor in that hive. So, as it stands right now, I'm saying they're probably going to supersede that queen here in the next week or so. If you like the videos, hit the subscribe button and uh, the bell next to it, get notifications. Hope that helps some people to at least do a mic count and check their bees, make sure that... Uh, actually, I'm treating today. It's time to treat again, so two mites in a hive in over a month since I've treated it should is not that bad so we're looking good you guys have a great day thanks for watching